Welcome to Dental Shots. Today we are going to see about the tips to diagnose the salivary gland swelling. So the salivary gland swelling can either be a persistent swelling or an intermittent swelling. So if it is a persistent swelling, we have to see whether it is a localized swelling or a diffuse swelling. If it involves the localized swelling, it only mostly involves one gland. Mostly it would be a tumor. If it is a diffuse swelling, we have to see whether it involves one gland or multiple glands. If it is involving only one gland, then it would be mostly acute sialadenitis. If it involves the multiple glands, there are a lot of differential diagnoses which we have to consider, starting from mumps, Jogren syndrome, silosis, HIV, and Ig4 disease. Coming to the intermittent swelling, it can either be related to the meal time or it will not be related to the meal time. If the swelling comes during the meal time, then it would be mostly a cause of obstructive origin. The salivary gland duct would have been obstructed. If it is not related to the meal time, either it would be a chronic sialadenitis or allergic sialadenitis. So this video gives the overall view how to diagnose the salivary gland swelling in a simple manner. If you like the video, kindly like, share and comment and do subscribe to Dental Shots to know about the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless you.